Well, I'm single and ready to mingle. And these are the 10 fragrances I would choose if I were to actually make that statement. Now, I'm sorry to disappoint all the ladies and dudes. Hated it. As me making that statement is false. However, I've selected 10 fragrances that I feel would be an irresistible. Send profile that being a single individual looking to be in the mixy scene and to attract that spouse, well, potential spouse, future mate, future lover, future 30 second night stand. If you think you lasting a night, <laughs> these are the fragrances that I personally would choose and would recommend you guys to choose on your conquest to find your next ex wife. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I could put you on to 10 irresistibly sexy fragrances that she can't refuse. <laughs> Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Let's jump right into this list. I think I've picked a sultry list of fragrances that I would highly recommend if you're single, ready to mingle, and ready to put your thing in her thing and just start to clapping. These are the fragrances that I would tell you, yo. Jump on this piece, fam. And the first fragrance I'm gonna mention has been a beautiful surprise in my entourage, and that's been Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme. This lavender and red hot chili pepper vibe is gorgeous. Terrific. A beautiful surprise in that Gucci Guilty lineup that I never expected to enjoy at all. This is one of these fragrances that I prejudged. Automatically in my head, the dude wearing this fragrance would keep it in his cup holder of his dropped Civic with graphics, wide body kit, and a fart can exhaust, but I was wrong. Very sexy designer scent profile. Citric, rosy, slightly peppery, a beautiful punch of lavender, extremely mass appealing, and damn near drool worthy in that sexy category. So Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour Homme is one of these sleepers in that lineup that I really had my doubts on, and I'm glad I was absolutely wrong about. This joint is a banger that she will find. Next one. Another beautiful gem that I have showcased in a few videos, and this should be like the stamp sealed certification that it's a gorgeous scent profile, especially if you're out there trying to mingle or live in that night life. Life, and that's Mercedes Benz Select Night. Fam. This shit is stupid. Think of a Udi Vanillic Lavender Scent Profile with the right amount of citric vibes. It's fresh, yet dark. It's creamy, yet sexy. It's versatile, but super date night appropriate. Perfect for clubbing, perfect for going out, and actually still a really nice office safe scent profile. It's a full body piece of masculinity, sexy vibes, and an irresistible scent profile that I'm freaking guaranteeing no money back guarantee. That the same or opposite sex is absolutely going to love this scent profile. A beautiful surprise for anybody who would think that a car brand can't make a fragrance, they would be sorely mistaken if they'd never tried this one. Next one. There's something familial and sexy and warm and comforting about this particular scent profile, and I'm talking about Montau's Intense Cafe. It's a beautiful scent profile with rich florals and a little bit of Bustelo mixed with Sanka. Just think of a Starbucks coffee latte in a real chic Soho type village cafeteria that's making a creamy latte-ish vanillic extract gourmandy drool worthy scent profile with a twist. Gorgeous, dark, rich, warm, seductive, incredible performance, not expensive and completely unique. Can't be more irresistible than that. Next one. Newest acquisition in my lineup, and I've mentioned this in a couple of videos already, but the ladies of Fragcom hit it right on the head with Prada Luna Rosa Black. Gorgeous, incredible scent. It is a very good Prada scent. In my collection, I think I have maybe one more Prada. Absolutely my favorite. It's a breath of fresh air. I'm glad that the designer space pulled out this scent profile. Some people might find it a little basic bitchish in some aspects, but I don't feel that way. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's very sexy. I think it hits all the elements that I personally look for when I'm thinking about a date scent, sexy, irresistible, spouse attracting scent profile. I'm actually gonna wear this joint today. I mean, I'm not trying to bag some side piece, you know what I'm saying, because I don't do those things. Liar! But it's it's awesome. And the crazy shit is, and I find it unbelievable as well, that I've had a couple of people smell this who are very particular, including my wife, we're still married as of today, and she was like, 
I'm not mad at it. For her, the hater of all haters to say, I'm not mad at it. And it being a Prada fragrance, some shit that you can buy at Macy's, Sephora, whatever department store is around you, that's a big thumbs up, fam. So the patchouli, the amber, the bergamot, the dark, the sexy, the sweet, and all the way mid to base, nice punch of powderiness that starts to develop off the skin, is fire, man. This is a really, really good scent profile by the House of Prada. They smack this shit out of the park. Highly recommend this joint. I could see some people indicating that it has some sort of remnants because of the powderiness of Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels. Uh, yeah, we're two different spaces, but this is fucking incredible. Next one. If I were single, if, 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 if I were single, I would like to do at this point in my life some different shit, like a smoky lounge. Go to some real upscale but classy shit. I don't want to be around any youth. I want to be in a space where there's conversation happening, where there's a close encounter that we don't have to yell over each other's voices to try to get to know each other. But I want my scent while in that close encounter space to not offend but intrigue. Question Oh, not only is this dude interesting, charismatic, handsome, delicious, and has a huge hog, 50-50 of those are lies, but what is he wearing? And at that point, it would be Givenchy's Gentleman Reserve Privé. Powdered whiskey, aged whiskey, delicate, refined, curated, an element of surprise by the Givenchy lineup that is stellar. I think with a little bit more time and more appreciation, I would put this in the designer masterpiece level. It is a great, sensual, sexy, date night, alluring scent profile that can absolutely garner the attention that you're looking for while setting you aside from everyone else, throwing on a mass appeal bond or creed or something along that niche space. Fuck the Baccarat Rouge 540. This has more body, this has more personality, this has more intrigue. This has more sniff factor, which is what you're looking for when you're trying to court someone else. You want to separate yourself from her exes, from the typical pickup line. Your name must be Bunny, cause you look so fluffy. From the regular degular boring dude who has the gas station erection pill. This is class in a bottle that's still attainable. Get it, next one. If after that smoke shop, we're gonna listen to some live music, I wanna hear a trombone. I wanna hear a heavy bass. Pull the fucking tube out. I wanna see a little bit of a smoke machine, a fog ambiance where I'm going. And I wanna hear somebody belt a little bit of a scat voice or something with some deep bass. Some Anita Baker in 2023. And that would be that Primera Parfums Kuwait Vetiver Amber. Another newbie in my collection that is, it tickles a little bit of the satisfaction that I miss from Persepolis. Like if I didn't wanna touch my Persepolis, which is a discontinued gorgeous smoky amber fragrance, this would be kind of that strong runner up. It has that same scented, sweet, caramelized, sugary amber incense punch with a little bit of gritty soil vibe, but beautifully sweet, gorgeously balanced. It has a nice boozy element, but it also has for me, off of my skin, a little bit of a dark liquor and slight clear liquor leaning towards a very minimal greenish kind of juniper vibe. There's elements of mystery, sex appeal, but this ice breaking capability to, again, differentiating you from the rest of the pack. This is one that her homegirl is going to approve of. This is one that you can wear not only to the date, but to impress her best friend who ultimately decides everything in her life because people are just on that vibe. I won't approve you until my friends approve you, but way before the parents even do. I gotta spray this shit real quick because I, I just need to let this live. It's like lighting smoky Bacar in your living room, sitting on leather, sweet, sugar, almost candy-like, dried fruit. <sighs> Bro, come on. Goose pimples? Just off the test strip? Next one. Speaking of cocktails and cigar, you're not gonna not put Jazz Club in the list. This shit is dumb. This is my first full bottle of Jazz Club. After maybe three or four 8ml stashes, I finally picked up a bottle for myself and I'm so happy I did. I have a few of the Mason lineup, but this one is kind of the one that I needed to have and still waited to get until I ran out of the samples. Truth be told, I probably still have another three or four ml, but I needed to get a full bottle. It, it was about time. Like this is a fragrance that needs to be put on these designer lists as one of these sex 
sexy, boozy, smoky scent profiles that is just date worthy to the 20th power. A ton of people agree that this is potentially one of the best in that lineup. As far as creativity and scent profile, up there at least in top two. Nothing offensive about this scent profile. Equally gorgeous to its competitors in this list and definitely holds a decent amount of performance throughout the night where you just want that. It's sexy. She's not going to be turned off by this scent profile. I feel like this would be one that would be pulled up in that conversation. And if she's a shy one and not that forward, there's going to be a subliminal kind of, when you guys get to that comfort level, if you're doing your part and you wash your ass and bathe appropriately before a date, which I shouldn't have to be saying this, but some motherfuckers is straight slacking. You're not gonna throw on 17 sprays of jazz club and not wash your ass and feel like that's gonna work. Overall hygiene, the proper fit, a fresh cut, and good conversation, this is just that cherry on top, but that cherry on top is going to make all the difference because Shorty loves cherries. Next one. Creamy vanilla again. So there's a lot of notes that are similar with a lot of these fragrances. We have lavender, we got bergamot, we got smoke, booze, vanillic, dark, rich, ambery fragrances. That's what I feel is really alluring. That's what I feel is interesting. That's what I feel signifies a proper date night. And I'd be remiss if I didn't add material by Amouage. All the things I mentioned and more with incredible performance. Ginger, vanilla, smoke, deep, rich, Middle Eastern royalty, a scent profile that came out guns blazing when it hit the scene and created by a perfumer who's a master beast in the fragrance space. This fragrance is just nipple worthy. <laughs> if you haven't tried this yet, please get yourself a sample and then talk to me nice. Next one. With all these rich elements, we have to add some sort of freshness. I still stand by the rich, sweet, ambery fragrances to be one of the attention grabbing scent profiles that make it extra sexy. But we have to add a little bit more of a brightness, a little bit more of a fresh element because women do enjoy the freshing components and not every date has associated with nighttime or sundown. But if you pull something like Amber Magique, into the mix, you're getting a beautiful combination of a lot of the similar notes that I'm mentioning in these other fragrances, plus the added bonus of performance freshness. The orange and ambergris in this scent profile provide this musky rich brightness to this scent profile, as well as the amber and cardamom and all the other corresponding notes in this scent, which make it a perfectly balanced, fresh, dark fragrance. Something about the bottle presentation being gold and white really represents the scent profile beautifully. It has that vanillic smokiness, but it still has that bright vibrancy of that strong, sweet orange. Mizzenser is one of these houses that are slowly creeping up in the game, and if they continue producing the hits that they produce, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. This is an irresistible scent profile. Oof, and finally, this might be a little decadent for some people. I recommend this scent 100%. I just tell people, chill with the trigger. A lot of people love the overspraying. They like to know that they smell from hundreds of yards away. I personally have never met a chick that was like, oh, I love that scent so much, spray it 20 more times. That's not in my world. If you've been in a New York City train or bus in the close environments that you're obligated to be in, the last thing that you want to do is smell a scent, no matter how beautiful it is, and it'd be so potent that it's choking the entire train car or that shit is right here in your face and you can't do shit about it. You want to smell amazing, you want to smell beautiful, but you want to be balanced. It's all about balance. This fragrance can be a little bit overindulgent, but the scent itself is gorgeous. And we're talking about Argos, Triumph, the Bacchus. Booze, Play-Doh, Peach, Tobacco, Amber, Musk, Tonka, wow. Comes off a little bit sharp on the opening, but blasts off the skin with the power of 10 dudes. Like, this shit is nuts. So you gotta be easy with that trigger. Gorgeous bottle, if that's something that you care about. But this is one of the first fragrances that took the fragrance community by storm when it came out. And a lot of people loved how sexy, rich, sweet, fruity, yet boozy that this scent profile was. Again, for me, this is a fragrance that I moderately use when I do reach for it. Another one that I've had, I don't know how many samples of, but I'm very particular. I'm like a tss, 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 
chill. If I don't wanna go super heavy, just spray it on some clothes, let it marinate, dig into the fibers, and that itself will help with the whole sillage bubble without me having to overspray and go absolutely apeshit. But very seductive, very sweet, almost sticky, boozy, smoky, tobacco, fire, fire, fire. I wonder if my wife would let me go on a date experimentally um, to see how much compliments I would get with these fragrances. Maybe 10 dates so I can try out each fragrance in those particular situations. And just, you know, just, just to have conversation. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna keep my hands to myself. Fucking liar. And just, you know, she's not gonna let me. She's not gonna let me. But, it, you know, it's good to dream and have, you know, imaginary thoughts and whatnot. Why'd I get married, I tell you? I'm a fucking sex symbol. I should've stayed single forever. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I hope you like this list. Trust me, Shorty's gonna find these pieces irresistible. It's an incredible lineup. Let me know the 10 fragrances that you would personally select for that sex appeal lineup. And have you thinking that, damn bro, I smell irresistible. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the gay. Smooches.